Welcome to the Book of Remembrance. This message was received from the Lord Jesus on July the 6th, 2016. The title of the message is, The Last Will Be First. And the Lord Jesus began, I know my brides, there are so many things you have had to put aside in order to devote more attention to the last minute tasks I have given you. Do not fret, keep your focus, complete your assignments. This is the season of completion, before the rapture. Everything else will have to take a back seat while you complete all that I have put in your heart to do. Yes, I am calling for more prayers, more fasts, more one-on-one -on -one ministry, especially among your family and friends. I am giving this world one more chance for redemption, one more chance to enter into my rest before the curtain comes down on this era of grace. Truly, there will be some surprises on rapture day, for I will call up to myself those who have just entered into my fold just before the clock strikes midnight. These people will have gotten saved at the very end of this age of grace, people from all walks of life who will surrender themselves to me, and I in my faithfulness will cleanse them of all their sins and make them worthy to partake of my wedding banquet. They will include backslidden Christians, homosexuals, prostitutes, pedophiles, terrorists, abortionists, Satan worshippers, witches and warlocks, rebellious teenagers, drug addicts, alcoholics, and even those who perform human sacrifices and specifically child sacrifices. Through your prayers, fasting, and faithfulness, my brides, you will bring in much such fruit. People that the world and the church have given up on will open their hearts to me at the very last minute as they come to the end of themselves. As they accept me as Lord and Savior over them, I will cleanse them and take away the stench of their sins. They will be a living sacrifice, sweet-smelling and acceptable before my Father. Yes, since my own children, my cubs, have decided to remain unfaithful, I will go out in the streets, highways and byways, and call to whoever will to come and sup with me, and to as many as hear my call and respond. To them I will give the right of being called my children, my brides, and they will partake of the rapture, while my rebellious cubs are left behind. Indeed, the first will be last, and the last will be first. They will accept my call, and they will fill my banquet tables. Places that were reserved for my cubs will be taken up by these last-minute converts. And oh, how great will be their joy! My cubs, the rapture has not yet occurred. Will you heed my warnings this time, or will you keep ignoring them? It is a shame that my firstborn sons will miss my banquet, and my prodigals will return just in time to partake of it. O oh, my cubs, there is nothing good that I have withheld from you. I have always been faithful to the promises I made in my word as concerns you. I have always provided for all your needs and watched over you diligently. How is it that you find me inadequate now? What is it that has caused you to run away from me? What have I done to displease you? Come, argue your case with me. You are my very own children, my cubs, yet you treat me like a stranger, a foreigner. If I have offended you in some way, come, let us reason together and come to a conclusion that is satisfactory for both of us. I am a father with a broken heart, for I have children who transgress my law and refuse to repent. I am a just father, though my love for you transcends time. Justice demands that if you are not ready for me when I return on the day of rapture, then I must leave you behind. You are disqualified, blemished, spotted, and speckled. It hurts my heart that I must leave you behind. My only comfort is that if you remain faithful to me during the great tribulation period, then you will eventually make it to me. However, the price you will pay will be high. My other comfort are the last-minute converts. They are tired of this world and its ways. They seek peace and they will find it in me. They are a sweet surprise 
and they will indeed enjoy the same blessings as my brides who have been laboring in the field for years. Being taken up in the rapture, the blessing is the same, but the rewards are different. Amen. And that was the end of the message from the Lord Jesus. Be blessed, beloved.